Let's discuss ways you can say you're tired in the South. How can you tell somebody you're not about it today? You don't want to do the work today. Well, there's plenty of choices to choose from. But first, there's some adjectives that you can pepper in that help out all of these phrases. Those adjectives are slap, slick, and slam. You can put slack, slick, and slam at the right spot in a lot of these phrases for some added emphasis. Obviously, we know you can be war slap out. You could also be war slick out or war slam out. So we all know and love, I'd have to feel better to die. But if you had to feel better to die, you could also say you were under the doctor. Special thanks to my friend Mary Payne at the Pink Shade Podcast. We were visiting earlier, and you can listen to our visit tomorrow. I'll let y'all know about that. But she told me about how her dad, Bones, not to be confused with his twin geezer, would say he was under the doctor. Now, you could be run ragged or run down. You might could be petered out. You could be slam petered out, or you could be petered slam out. If you're a little bit upset and tired, you might could be worn to a frazzle or fit to be tied. If you're fit to be tied, you're, you're less tired. You're, you're more in action mode, but still, same vibe. Now, if you like to take to the bed, you could also have a spell or have a sinking spell. Those are good to do in addition to taking to the bed. If you want to be a little more descriptive, you could say, you could stick a fork in me, I'm done, or if you could stick a fork in me, it'll come out dry. Stick a fork in me, it'll come out clean. We really relate to forks and food, so you can get real caught up that way. If you're feeling a little more gruff, a little more on the edge of uncouth, you could say, rode hard and put up wet, or rode hard and hung out to dry. If you want to be more direct, you could be pooped, or you could be puny, looking puny. You could also tell your grandchildren that they're looking a little puny every time they come in, and once you've got them believing they're looking puny, they're more likely to eat the food that you're gonna offer force on to them. And you might be dog tired. If you're real tired, you could be dead dog tired. Neither of those have an O in them. They're all D-A-W-G. You could be knackered out or plum knackered out. But if you're not tired, but you don't want to be accused of being tired or heaven forbid downright sleeping, maybe that means they're gonna change your show if they think you're asleep. And you're watching that and there's no way you're snoring. Maybe that means they're gonna start requesting you head to the bed. Whatever it is, you aren't tired. You're resting your eyes, checking the back of your eyelids. We all deserve to rest our eyes once in a while. So how would your mom and them let you know they're tired? I'm going to be stove up just from sitting here talking about it.